Hey everybody, this is Jade. I have a collective haul and it's kind of big so I want to try and get through this as quickly as possible. Um, I got a package from Foxy Fix. I went to Michael's Marshalls and Tuesday morning. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the package from Foxy Fix. Um, and it actually came like that. I'm going to order a Chic Sparrow Pocket as soon as I can. The color I want um, is not in stock at the moment so I have to wait. So it probably won't be until... Um, I'm assuming maybe next month or so. But I went ahead and got some dashboards um, for them. I think I got four of the regular and two of the secretarial pockets. So here is the package. It is um, a little business card. It's just cute. It says Be Foxy. And that is the info. If anybody is interested, they sent this cute little keychain along. Um, says Foxy Fix. And here are the dashboards. I got four regular, like I said. So regular ones. You can just stick something on either side there. Um, so one, two, three, four. And I got two with the secretarial pockets. So I don't know if you can see. It's kind of glary, but... There's the pocket there. And here's the other one. So yeah, that's what I got from the Foxy Fix. Trying to get myself prepared. So you know I can't buy my notebook yet. I can try and buy all the different things that I know I want to put in it once I finally am able to get it. Um, next, I went to Michael's, and some of this stuff I got uh, about a week or two ago, and I've just been saving up to do a big haul. Um, this is a little notebook set. It was two blank line notebooks. I got it um, out of the $2 section. You can't, I don't think you can use a coupon on these because they're considered everyday value. Um, but I got them because I figured they would be a good size for my Micro Traveler's Notebook. Now let's see if it fits. Let's see if I can find. Here it is. My Traveler's Notebook. So, let's see. It's the middle. And, yep. Looks like it fits pretty well. Um, of course, it's bigger than these little Moleskine notebooks that I got from Barnes & Noble. But, um, as you can see, there's no hangover or anything like that. So, for a quick, cheap um, buy for this, if you're looking for a notebook um, for a micro, that is like a great deal for two bucks. Um, so, yeah, thank you, Michaels. Um, they also had them in black, too, guys, in case you didn't want the pink. Um, next, I got these today. I need to finish a project, so I actually need the cards. I'm trying to make it a little easier for myself. This pack was $5.49, um, but I used a 50% off coupon, so it ended up being $2 and change. Um, and you get 10 sets of each um, cards and envelopes. And next, um, I got this Molly and Rex stamp set. Um, Molly and Rex at the moment is 50% off. When I bought it, it was also 50% off. And I think I may have used an extra 25 or 20 or 25% off as well. So it was $9.99. ended up being $4.99 and probably a little less than that. Um, if not, I pay no more than $4.99 plus tax. Um, and I love it because mainly because of this bicycle, but all of the little stains and stamps are really really cute and I will give you a close-up so you can see them all here's another little bike it says enjoy the ride that one says follow your heart XOXO some little flowers and leaves and here's the bigger bike it says love and dream and some other little doodads here so I thought that was really adorable for 50% off I mean you can't beat that price Next, I went to Marshall's, and I know that everybody is going crazy over the Martha Stewart punches. Um, I don't even know if I have the starter kit for these, but um, when I first saw these at the Marshall's I went to, they were probably like 
five six ninety nine something like that I'm not sure uh, a few weeks ago I went in there and saw them they were reduced to three dollars I still did not buy them um, today I went in there and they were reduced to two dollars each two dollars guys so guess who bought them for two bucks yes please and thank you I will take them um, so that's all I got from Marshalls. Next is my Tuesday morning haul. I'm going to start with, I got a lot of Martha Stewart and Downton Abbey stuff. Um, and then I got some miscellaneous stuff. So I'm going to start with the miscellaneous stuff first, move to Downton Abbey, and then move to Martha Stewart. Okay, so first I did get one of these water misters. It was 99 cents. If you're looking for it, there it is, the SKU number. Um, just because I bought a lot of the Distress Inks. A few weeks ago and I know that and I have some other distress sinks the ones that fit in those little tins and I know they react to water so I figured that'd be good to have on hand if I want to try some things out I found these two cute little uh, file folder packs from seven gypsies I think they are freaking adorable they were $1.49 each here are the SKU numbers and here is what this one looks like on the back. It's got kind of some vintage images here. Um, and this one is more Halloween theme. I like that one that says Book of Spells. Um, so yeah. And those are the little file folder packs, guys. Um, I found these. I like these little snapshot scenes, um, and I, I like that they already have paper clips, but what I was thinking was to take them and actually laminate them and put paper clips on the back, um, because the scenes are cute. There's the SKU number. If you're looking for it, it was 99 cent. They had other ones too, like dogs and cats, and nah, I didn't want those, so, um, sorry you can't see that one under there, but... Here are the different scenes. It's kind of like a winery or what do you call those things? Ugh, can't remember. Anyway, next I got these. These were $2.99. I do not like the price on this. Uh, I think they're completely adorable and there was just a whole bunch of different ones there, guys. But I got this one because it had like these little flowers in there as well, plus smaller little tassels, and plus these leather tassels here. Um, here's the SKU number for anybody's looking for them. But like I said, they have um, different packs of these as well. So um, I got these two little um, letter packets, and I want to collect all of them because I know there's different colors. Um, but these were the two that were kind of just laying out, so I'd grab these. Um, I've been too lazy to actually go through all the stuff and look for the other ones. So, But here's the SKU number. If anybody's looking for them, they were $0.49 cent a piece. And that's what they look like. Um, I found these by Imaginist. They were $1.49. It's an ephemera pack. Um, and this is what they look like. And I love them because they are kind of boyish um you don't get a lot of boy stuff with ephemera packs and stuff like that I'm not saying that girls can't do all this stuff because i have done all this stuff um and anything like that but um if you're looking to make something for a, a older little boy or something this looks like it would be a good pack for that um next um i got these cosmo cricket packs this is a traveler's notebook i think it's a standard size um and i've never had a standard size i'm kind of more of a small person i like small things um but i figured for 2.99 to try it and see how i like it maybe as a journal or something like that um there's a SKU number if you're looking for it but yeah i mean you can't need that price guys for a traveler's notebook let's open it up real quick that's what it looks like on the back but yeah so there you go and it comes with the little notebook you can put in it with some lined paper but here is and it's got little pockets on the inside that is cute um so yeah i think that was an excellent price to try it out you know, if somebody's not sure, you want to try it out. Oh, it looks like it came with a jump band as well. 
That's awesome for two ninety nine. Really, thank you, two ninety nine. Um, also, I got the zip pouch um, to go with it. It's a dollar ninety nine. Here's the SKU number. So it's just a clear plastic pouch you can put in to keep change or pins or whatever. Um, and it looks like it also comes with a jump band. So yeah. $1.99, $2.99, great price. Next, I'm going to get into the Down Abbey stuff. First, I found these cute little antique keys. Um, they're called Metal Key Charms, and I figured they would be really cute to put add to any little project or whatever. They were only $1.99. Um, next, I found the little frames, and I need to stop buying frames. I really do, because I hardly ever use them. But I thought these were too cute to pass up. They were $1.99 as well. Let me see something. Is that the same SKU number? No, okay. It's different. Um, so I got those, and I was really excited about these. Um, I found the half doily die. You guys know this was one of the ones I've been looking for. Um, one I st I'm still haven't been able to find is the car die. I'm hoping that eventually shows up again. But here is the SKU number. If you're looking for it, it was $4.99. Here's what it looks like on the back. And I think it's adorable. And I'm so happy I found it. I'm also happy I found these. It's the ornate corners. So, and I just think that'd be cute. The opulent corners. That they would be cute to add to any project or anything. Little decorative corners. That's what they look like. They were also $4.99, which I'm surprised. I thought they would have been $6.99. I also think the next one I'm about to show you, I thought that was going to be $6.99, but it was $4.99. There's a skew number. Um, and I was really excited to find the bow. I do not have any of these bow things. So I think it would be, it's a good addition to my dies. Um, there's a skew number if you're looking for it. It's $4.99. Here's what it looks like, and here are some of the examples of what you can make with it. So, it's called a Grand Bow, and it's really cute. And I also got these Die Cut Topper Set 1. I'm really not sure what a Die Cut Topper is. Uh, it just looks like stickers or something, I'm not sure. But they were $1.99. Really pretty. I love all the gold foil, and this is what it looks like on the back here, all the what you get in it um, so yeah um that's it for the down abbey stuff that i found next i got some martha stewart stuff i was happy to find a lot of the stuff that i found um, first I got some glue and this one I got like a week or so ago I found they were both 99 cent each this is just the clear glue this is the regular like Elmer's type of glue um, like I said both 99 cent here's the SKU number for this one if you're looking for it and this one if you're looking for it oh different SKUs okay next Ta -da! I'm surprised I found these. They were actually plenty at every Tuesday morning I went to. There were a few. Um, so I got two of the hand lettering pins. Uh, these were only 99 cents a piece. So there's a SKU number if anybody's looking for them. So I got extra, you know, just in case they start running out or maybe I want to gift them to my mom or somebody. Who wants to try hand lettering? I'm not sure. Next, I found some cute flocking powder. Isn't it adorable? Uh, I'm not too happy about that $6.99, but still. This, I guess, is probably really not a bad price at all for all of this powder. I really don't even know what you do with flocking powder, but I will figure it out. There's a SKU number, guys, if you're looking for it. Yeah, I love the colors. Love, love, love them. Um, and next, I got, I found the glue gun. I don't need any more glue guns, but for two ninety nine, I was gonna get it. And it's got the the black glue sticks. I've never seen that before. 
Um, there's a skewer number if you're looking for it. And yeah, that's what it looks like. I found this punch around the punch all over the page. Edge punch. Oh, it's not an edge punch. I'm sorry. Here's the skew number. It's 399. I like the it's a flourish square. I like it. Um, I figure it'd be good if you like you have uh, stamped sentiment in the middle here you can just pop that on there and, and punch it out or whatever so and last but not least I got these um, glitter and glue sets they were a dollar ninety nine you cannot beat that price the other ones that were about this size were like six ninety nine so um, yeah I got two of these they were a dollar ninety nine each there's a SKU number if you're looking for them, and you kind of get like these heart sequins here, um, glitter, some fine glitter, um, some more chunky type glitter here, and I forget the name of this type of glitter, but it's a little different than just fine regular glitter here. But anyway, so that is it for me, guys. Thank you for hanging in there with me in this whole haul. It was huge, I know. Um, I have a trip coming up soon. I'm going to try to hit some Tuesday mornings while I'm there. See if they have anything different that I have not seen in the stores that I've been to in North Carolina. So we shall see, guys. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next haul. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.